My name is Dr. Shante Sullivan Pike, and I am a reproductive endocrinologist. In my practice, I help patients understand what's happening to their bodies as it relates to reproduction and options they may have to conceive. So you were able to get pregnant with your first child, but now you find yourself having trouble? Infertility is a condition of the reproductive organs, resulting in the inability to conceive after 12 months of well-timed, unprotected penis and vagina sex. Infertility can be broken down into primary and secondary infertility. Primary infertility is diagnosed when a couple has been trying to conceive for 12 months and have never conceived before. Secondary infertility, on the other hand, is diagnosed in a couple who have been able to conceive in the past but have been trying for 12 months without success. Secondary infertility, like primary infertility, may occur for several reasons. In those assigned female at birth who think that they are capable of pregnancy, there may be hormonal problems that impair ovulation, structural issues from sexually transmitted infections, prior abdominal surgery, endometriosis, resulting in scarred or blocked fallopian tubes. There may be structural issues such as fibroids, polyps, or even scar tissue that may impair implantation. Not to be overlooked is the effect of age on the quality and quantity of eggs as both decline with age. Abnormalities in sperm concentration, motility, or morphology may also lead to infertility. A semen analysis is needed to determine if there are any issues with the sperm. An abnormal semen analysis may result from hormonal, structural, or genetic issues. About one third of the time, despite a thorough evaluation, couples may be diagnosed with unexplained infertility in which no clear cause for the problem is discovered. Now, infertility is common and it affects one in eight couples. If you think that you may have a problem, please don't hesitate to schedule an appointment with a reproductive endocrinologist or ask your gynecologist for a referral. For people who are capable of getting pregnant younger than 35, it's okay to wait 12 months prior to seeking an evaluation. But for people capable of getting pregnant 35 years old or older, we recommend having a consultation sooner after trying for six months. For women over 40, or if you already know that there's a problem such as irregular ovulation, there's no need to wait. Seek evaluation immediately so that treatment can be initiated in an expeditious fashion. What are your options to conceive again? Options may include medications to induce ovulation, intrauterine insemination or IUI, in vitro fertilization or IVF, or surgical management depending on a couple's specific needs.